Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. At the range now, and I've got something that I've been wanting to get my hands on for a while. It seems to be an outstanding handgun. It is a double stack 1911. Now if you haven't noticed, the double stack 1911s are gaining popularity like none other. They are really off the charts. It's almost like the, the single stack nines back in the day where everybody wanted one. However, what we have here is a Masterpiece Arms DS9. That's not mine. This belongs to Smash Time. He made the trip to Michigan. I said, you have to bring the Masterpiece DS9. And he did. And I'm really looking forward to this because huge fan of 1911s. Huge fan of very nice 1911s. Now, you, know, may, you may know Masterpiece from their precision rifles, some of their 9mm sub guns. But this is the DS9. Double stack comes with 17 and 20 round mags, MBX mags, these aren't cheap. It has a five inch bull barrel, raised front sight, raised rear sight. He has a Trigicon SRO on there. Now, if you go with this model, you will notice that you can upcharge a whole bunch of things, really custom fit it to your personality. But one of the things that stands out, and you hear this so often, but it's really true, is the flat trigger. Right there, it just breaks right around two pounds with that short reset. Uh, red grip, they have many different colors. Flared out magwell. Okay, you ready? $3,200. That's what you're looking at. But... I took a few shots just to see where it was impacting, make sure the dot was on, and it was. So we're about 13 yards away. Let's see how it does. Woo, come on now. I knew there would be something about this gun that I like, and now I know for sure. <laughs> it has a ambidextrous thumb safety. And I really like the SRO. I had that on the, the uh, Terran Tactical Sand Viper, and I really like that. Big window there, nice shooting gun. The, the recoil's like nothing, all steel, full reel on the bottom. But one of the things I want to try to do, emphasis, try to do, is see how well I do one-handed. Some of the times, you, you extend your arm out there and it shakes, especially with an all steel frame. 1911 but well, let's see i'm going to slow it down a bit and see if i can all right thumb safety engaged masterpiece arms came out with this under a year ago i saw some reviews a lot of people liked it they said hey look you know, they're in the game of a double stack 9mm. And I, saw, I, I was like, seriously, Masterpiece Arms does so well with precision rifles, some sub guns and everything. But when they came out with this, very lightweight spring, by the way, I was immediately attracted to it. It looks nice. I like the features. And those were essentially my first shots. I took a couple shots earlier. You may notice the slide cuts right there. It is a bull barrel. All right, always nice touch. And it's a 1911 with a very short trigger. Did I mention it was flat? All right, very, very flat. No curve to it at all. I just want to shoot this again, so let me load up. When I said that the DS9 cost 3200 that is with this model. You're looking at between 550 and 650 for the SRO. It does not come with a red dot, so that's an additional cost. Or you can go with iron sights, raised serrated black rear sight, fiber optic front sight. Love the trigger, and one of the things that is so cool with all steel guns is the lack of recoil. And I know nine millimeter is, is not a big deal, but it is so smooth. So let me go ahead and take a few shots. Backed up just a little bit, here we go. and the slide did not lock back. But this is what I wanted to get my hands on and I'm happy I did because 
this is a growing trend. I will tell you right now, and I've got some reviews coming up shortly. This is a growing trend. Double stack, nine millimeter. Really taken off in the competition circuit. People love it and manufacturers are taking notice and say, you know what, people love it. They're buying it. They're putting money out. Just look at staccatos. Now, speaking of staccato, a lot of people will say that's a 2011 or a 2011. Well, that's a staccato thing. It's not across the board. So this is not labeled by Masterpiece Arms as a 2011. The viewers say that. Staccato says that. But this is a Masterpiece Arms DS 1911. DS9 1911. But there's a closer look at it. I think it's pretty, pretty nice and I have no complaints. Check out that trigger guard, how you, it goes from the grip and all the way around. All right, so shout out to Shooting Target 7. I got a new new target. It's the middle one. It's a 10-inch target. And what I did was I, I got a base and a little swinger there with a 10-inch AR500 target. So this winter, I could actually put the base down without having to pound a stake into the into the ground but here we are 20 yards away let's see how i do i like the way this optic is sighted is nice like the target but i like the ds9 more this thing is really nice and you know, smash time's onto something here because this guy, come on over here for a minute. What do you like about this gun that makes it so special? So I've shot, I've had the ability to shoot a lot of double stack 1911s and I think this one fit, finish, and the way it shoots, the trigger, it's a complete package. I like this one. Out of all the ones I've shot so far, I absolutely like this the best. I do too. I think this is pretty nice. I think if I would have slowed down a little bit, I would have had better success there uh, with the 20-yard shots. But that trigger, once again, what do we say? Two and a half? Two and a half. Uh, of course, I kept the mag in there. Look at this reset. So there it is. Masterpiece Arms DS9. I'm going to try to work out a deal with this guy because <laughs> this has to come home with me. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Put your thumb up. <laughs> Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.